Hello everyone, I'm Adina. Today I'm going to talk about convergence and divergence of airflow. So when we talk about convergence and divergence, we also talk about cyclonic and anticyclonic. Cyclonic flow is when the wind is rotating counterclockwise in northern hemisphere and vice versa. It also has low pressure area at the Earth's surface and usually associated with stormy weather. So for anticyclonic, the wind is rotating clockwise in northern hemisphere and vice versa. It also has high pressure at the Earth's surface and usually associated with fine weather. At the Earth's surface, low pressure systems have counterclockwise rotation in the northern hemisphere. Thus, the warm air converges and rises upward as it has nowhere to go. As the warm air rises, it cools down and condenses into cloud droplet. At the Earth's surface of high pressure system, the wind moves in clockwise rotation in the northern hemisphere. This causes air to diverge from the center. Air has come from a loft to fill in the void left by diverging air at the Earth's surface. This leads to sinking motion in center of high pressure system. So when we talk about atmospheric pressure, what does it mean actually? Atmospheric pressure is the weight of gases being pressed down on the Earth's surface. These gases contain of oxygen, carbon dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. Imagine there's a scale at the Earth's surface. When air converges, it raises upward. As it raises upward, it reduces the weight of the gases that is being pressed down on the Earth's surface. So this is why convergence of air causing low pressure at the Earth's surface. So when air aloft converge, sinking down and replacing the air that is being moved out due to divergence at Earth's surface, it increases the weight of these gases that is being pressed down on the Earth's surface. So this is causing high pressure at the Earth's surface. So now let's take a look at this convergence and divergence in 3D. As the jet stream enters the convergence zone aloft, the air sinks down because it has nowhere to go. As the air sinks, it becomes warmer and uh, because it encounters high pressure near the ground. Therefore, uh, sinking air always associate always causing high pressure and associate with fair and calm weather. So now let's continue as the jet stream enter the divergence zone where the air is spreading out. As we all know, the air flow from high pressure to low, pre low pressure. The air converge uh, at the center and rise up, filling the void at the divergence at the divergence zone. Therefore, the rising up will produce cloud and precipitation.